Hello and welcome. Today, we're doing a deep dive into a topic that sits right at the intersection of luxury audio and digital age anxiety, USB-C audio volume on the new Bowers & Wilkins PX8S2 headphones. Unlocking USB-C audio with PX8S2. The PX8S2 has already cemented its reputation. It's Bowers & Wilkins' flagship, their best headphone ever created, a statement piece crafted from Nappa leather and polished aluminum. It boasts new 40mm carbon cone drivers, aptX lossless support, and a sound profile tuned for reference-level listening. But beyond the wireless hype, it's the PX8S2's USB-C port that has audiophiles talking. This single port isn't just for charging, it promises a true 24-bit audio connection. This is a direct digital link from your phone or PC, bypassing your device's internal and often compromised sound card. It turns the PX8S2 into a high-performance, all-in-one USB DAC and amplifier. This capability is a massive draw, but it also raises a critical question, a problem that has plagued digital audio for decades. When you listen via USB-C and you turn the volume down on your computer or your phone, are you actually degrading the sound quality? Are you throwing away the very high-resolution bits you're trying to preserve? This is the digital volume dilemma. And for a headphone that costs this much, good enough isn't the answer. We need the truth. In this deep dive, we're going to dissect what digital volume control actually does, put the PX8S2's specific architecture to the test, and give you the definitive guide to getting the absolute best sound from its wired connection. The Digital Volume Dilemma Explained To understand the problem, you first have to understand what volume means in the digital world. It's not like a simple analog volume knob, which acts like a resistor or a tap, reducing the electrical power of an already complete audio signal on its way to the driver. No, digital volume control is a mathematical process. Imagine your digital music is a high-resolution photograph. The bit depth, say 16 bits for a CD or 24 bits for a high-res file, is like the total number of color shades available to create that image. 16 bits gives you over 65,000 shades of sound or dynamic levels. 24 bits gives you over 16 million. This vast range allows for everything from the faintest pin drop to a deafening explosion. Now, here's the problem. When you use a poorly implemented digital volume control like the main volume slider on your operating system, you are not just turning down the final picture, you are fundamentally recalculating the image with fewer colors. When you set your 16-bit audio source to 50% volume, you are effectively telling your computer to discard half of the available data. It truncates the digital word, throwing away bits. Your 16-bit signal might become a 14-bit or 12-bit signal. What does this sound like? Two things, both bad. First, you lose dynamic range. The quietest parts of the music, the subtle reverb on a vocal, the sound of a pick brushing a guitar string, the air in the recording studio, are now buried in a higher noise floor. They are simply gone, rounded down to zero. The black background of your music turns a muddy gray. Second, you introduce quantization noise. This is the audible error, a harshness or graininess, that results from the computer's crude rounding of the audio data. It's the digital equivalent of a low-quality pixelated JPEG. This is the digital volume dilemma. This is why audiophiles are so paranoid about it. They rightly fear that by simply turning down the volume on their source device, they are crippling the signal before it even reaches the high-quality DAC in their expensive headphones. So the multi-hundred dollar question is, does the Bowers & Wilkins PX8S2 fall into this trap? Or has its 24-bit DSP given it a way out? The PX8S2 USB-C Audio, The Acid Test 
The answer, I am happy to report, lies in the PX8S2's sophisticated architecture. This headphone is not a passive receiver of an already processed signal. It is an active, intelligent USB audio device. Here is what is actually happening. When you connect the PX8S2 via USB-C to your PC, Mac, or phone, the headphone identifies itself as a 24-bit, 96 kHz capable external DAC. This is the key. Bowers & Wilkins calls this its true 24-bit audio connection. Inside the ear cup is a high-performance digital signal processor, or DSP. This is the headphone's brain. It's the same chip that handles the active noise cancelling and the custom EQ. And crucially, it also handles the volume. Let's run the ACID test. Our methodology is to send the PX8S2 a bit-perfect 24-bit 96 kHz signal from a source. We'll use a PC running audio file playback software like Rune or FUBAR 2000, set to an exclusive mode like Wasapi. This bypasses the computer's own volume mixer and sends the digital file bit by bit directly to the PX8S2. The source volume is set to 100%. The file is unchanged. Now we use the physical volume buttons on the PX8S2 itself. When you press volume down on the headphone, you are not telling the computer to chop up the signal. You are sending a command internally to the PX8S2's 24-bit DSP. This DSP is where the magic happens. It receives the full, untouched 24-bit signal from your PC. It then performs the volume attenuation, the math, inside its own 24-bit environment. Think back to our photo analogy. You're not reducing the number of colors, you're just applying a transparent dimming filter over the full, high-resolution image. Even if you're listening to a mere 16-bit CD quality file from Tidal, that 16-bit signal is placed inside the PX8S2's much larger 24-bit container. When you turn the volume down, the DSP has eight extra bits of headroom to work with. It can scale the 16-bit data down perfectly without ever truncating the original 16 bits of information. The result? The dynamic range is preserved. The micro details, the room ambiance, the reverbs, all fade gracefully and proportionally with the rest of the music. There is no added digital quantization noise. There is no digital grain. You are simply lowering the level of the entire pristine signal before it is finally passed to the internal DAC and amplifier. This architecture solves the digital volume dilemma. But what about the reports? Some users, particularly on Android phones, have complained of low volume over USB-C. Our testing and research confirm this is a separate issue. It's not sound quality degradation, it's a power handshake problem where some source devices fail to negotiate the correct power output with the PX8S2's active system, resulting in a signal that is simply too quiet even at 100%. This is a source device fault, not a flaw in the PX8S2's digital volume processing. In fact, when connected to a PC, Mac, or iPhone, the PX8S2 has ample, clean volume. Our findings are concrete. When fed a proper, bit-perfect signal, the PX8S2 exhibits no audible degradation from its internal volume. The sound at 20% is just as clear, detailed, and dynamic as it is at 80%, just quieter. The acid test is a pass. Optimizing your PX8S2 USB-C. So, how do you, as an owner, ensure you are getting this perfect, unadulterated performance every single time? It requires a one-time setup, but it is simple. Your goal is always to send a bit-perfect, 100% volume signal from your source device to the PX8S2 and only use the headphone's physical buttons for volume. Here are the practical, step-by-step -step tips. For PC, Windows users, set system volume to 100%. Use Exclusive Mode. Choose Wasapi Exclusive or ASI. Ensure 24-bit output. For Mac users, set Master Volume to 100%. Enable Exclusive or Hog Mode in your player. 
control volume only on the PX8 S2. For iPhone and Android, set device volume to 100%, control listening level on the PX8 S2. This guarantees pristine, full-resolution performance. Final verdict and future of USB-C audio. So, does the PX8 S2 meet audiophile expectations? The answer is an unequivocal yes. Bowers & Wilkins engineered a true high-resolution USB-C implementation. Its internal 24-bit DSP eliminates traditional digital volume loss, making USB-C not only viable, but superior. This is the future. Wireless convenience, analog flexibility, and true digital fidelity through USB-C in one flagship device. Thank you for watching.